Hey guys, what's poppin'? It's the medic, and I'm here to break down the lyrics and meaning behind my track, True Enough. Come through, come through. Shady, I need you right now. Tell me what you want. So going into this track, as soon as I heard the beat, I definitely knew when it came to the hook, I wanted to have it kind of be on a feels you romantic type thing. But in the verse, I got a little more introspective and I switched it up. So I feel like a lot of people probably did not see that coming. Because on the hook, I'm talking about one thing, I'm talking about this girl. But on the verse, I'm kind of like venting. And it's basically me venting in the perspective of me venting to her. Kind of just telling her to be there for me or whatever. Because I just need someone to talk to and I want to hear her voice. Come through, come through. Shawty, I need you right now. Tell me what you want to do. Why you so gone off this loud? I ain't your man, that's true enough. I'll feel that void, girl, true enough. Best chance in a lot, that's true enough. Baby, come through. So yeah, on the hook, I'm basic. Uh, I'm essentially saying like I'm telling her to come through, but let's kick it, whatever. Um, but aside from that, I'm also saying like I know I'm not your man, that's true enough. Um, but I could also help you feel that void as long as you can be there for me as well. And I'm just talking about like, yeah, I just need you right now. Like, I need a vent. Like, I need someone to talk to. And that's basically that's essentially what I'm saying. And the hook's pretty straight to the point. Steady plotting, looking forward to better days. All this pressure keeps me up in a never face. Yeah, I got a lot of weight on my shoulders. Future got me paranoid, really scared to get older. Uh, Miss the early days of trying to turn this to a career. Now the blessings are amazing, but they're bringing me fear. Cause I just wanna outdo what I did last year. And the pills could have killed me, but the boy right here. The verse starts off me. I'm just talking about how I'm plotting on better days and I'm trying to navigate certain things and just obviously build this future through creating this music and through doing my art and working on the craft. And I'm kind of just talking about like how I'm, I'm, that's really got me stressed out. Like I feel a lot of weight on my shoulders and this pressure because obviously like you put pressure on yourself to succeed and make it and like meet certain deadlines. And, like you want to get, you want to do this amount of progress this year and the next year you want to get to these heights. And then it's just like a constant cycle of like trying to constantly outdo yourself every six months, every year. And it's just that, that constant growth and really just um, kind of emph emphasizing that and you know feeling strongly about that. And so I'm kind of basically in this perspective, I'm venting to her about it. I'm telling her like, I'm really trying to get this problem and like hoping, hoping she understands where I'm coming from with that. And we all keep it pushing, barely shed them tears. Uh, yeah, we barely shed them tears. Fighting to make it happen and getting the brand established for them days. I was posted at open mics and just rapping for a room with 20 people feeling like an arena. Now it's seven digit plays, wishing Nelson could see this. And I keep you in my mind when I'm feeling defeated. Cause I'm doing it for us, there's no way that we leave it. Then I was talking about how I'm fighting to get the brand established. And once again, it just goes into that like trying to build this brand, trying to, you know, get just get the music as a whole in the brand and like everything surrounding the medic just getting it popping, whether it comes to content, music, clothing, anything like that. And this is basically that, just kind of escalating the situation. Then I also touched on the fact of like me, like back in the day when I would kind of, you know, do these like little open mic cafe things that there were like 20, 30 people there. But at the time it felt like an arena to me because there was people there and it was always a good vibe. Like people were always, the, I was always interacting with the crowd. The crowd was always showing love. And even though there weren't that many people there, the energy in that room was just always on point. And I'm kind of just talking about how even though it might have been 20 people, to me it felt like I was like, you know, playing Staples Center or playing like a, you know, like a Madison Square Garden. Cause it was like, it, was, it would just be a little, little room, but it would be super packed. And just the vibe was just always on point. I could be a handful to deal with. Never keeping any secrets. Hurting on the low, can you hear me? Baby, let me know, can you feel this? Uh, you right for me and I'm right for you. Girl, fight for me and I'll fight for you. Hold me down through the pain and the sun and the rain. Met people, but don't nobody feel like you. I, I could be a handful to deal with, but I'm not keeping any secrets. And it's kind of like, yeah, I can be a handful to deal with when it comes to me venting about, you know, just life situations and life problems and when it comes to music or my career or whatever it is I'm trying to navigate in certain periods of, of my life and I feel like I always go through these these chapters of like in these three months I'm this one problem has been getting to my head and then in the next three months there's just one problem so it's always just like certain certain like little chapters and it's always revolving around one thing when the grand scheme of things it always comes back to the music for me because that's kind of like my safe haven so it comes down to that and then it just goes back into the hook come to, come to. Shawty, I need you right now. Tell me what you want to do. Why you too gone off this loud? I ain't your man, that's true enough. I'll feel that void, girl, true enough. Best chance in a lot, that's true enough. I'm just basically on this track. I'm just, I'm just getting real introspective, 
and I'm inventing a lot. And I feel like that's that's a big reason why a lot of people fell in love with the music. First, obviously, the drama feelings are like the lay awake or the breakdowns of breakthroughs. And like that whole first EP was super introspective and I touched on a lot of just 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 real life shit like that people could relate to and you know find comfort in because they might have been able to relate or it resonated or whatever the case may be and at the end of the day i feel like that's that's what i do that's what i do best when i make when i try to make people feel something because i could do turn up stuff like the down low and the pop off and you know things like that but and the pay the price or whatever but when it comes down to like me, my roots of kind of the, the, the type of songs that I'll make it always came down to like making you feel something that was the lyrics and meaning behind my track sure enough hope you guys enjoy that once again you can peep the playlist for all the other lyric breakdown videos and once again I'm a medic leave a like comment and subscribe I appreciate y'all let's get it